Welcome to day four of IoT Design Week. It is Pi Day, so we have Pi. Happy Pi Day, everybody. Yes. My name is Rachel Bedore, and this is Matthew Dickens. And we do have some unfortunate news. Um, so today was supposed to be a day for a DigiKey engineer to be on set to talk a little bit about their new web app, DigiKey IoT Studio. But unfortunately, there's been a lot of weather issues, so he had his flight uh, canceled. So we're really we're, we're upset about that. We will reschedule it. Um, so stay tuned. Um, just make sure that you're subscribed and you'll get a notification when we reschedule that. Uh, uh, but should we announce the winners? I think so. I mean, All that's right. really why everybody showed up today. Yeah, right? So today's giveaway is the AT Mega 4809 Curiosity Nano. Um, a super small, easy board. We'll talk a little bit more about it later. Uh, the winners are um, Mateus Durao, David Green, Raja Chowdhury, Melind Shindi, Bruno Avalar. So if you see your name, uh, send us an email at livestream at microchip.com and we will send you your prize. And also, if you didn't win, we still have one more chance. Oh, Tomorrow, we when we do the microchip maze, which everybody should tune in for, yep. we will have one of each giveaway. So we will have one of the of the Curiosity Nano and one of the AVROT, the Arduino, Uno Wi-Fi Rev 2, and the Pic 24F Curiosity. So you still have one more shot, so definitely tune in for that. Sweet. Yeah. And just so we do a little recap of the week in case you have may have missed earlier days we had monday which was just kind of an introduction welcome to the week all that kind of stuff put out some good just basics for the week and then tuesday i believe we had the we is what that the day we the did, wizard of that's make. right the wizard of make the arduino uno rev 2 and the wizard of make Unfortunately, apparently, we have the weather system, but we couldn't predict the weather system. Yeah, so. not, no, yeah, his flight was still canceled. <laughs> All the DIY weather systems in the world and still, it we'll still had unpredictable that, uh, weather. Bring that weather underground data above ground so we can actually use it to our advantage. Right, in the future. <laughs> right, right. And by the um, way, uh, ladies and gentlemen from back in the booth, we can see that he's in the comment section. Uh, hey, how's it going, Rob? Thank you. Thank you for your attempt. We'll get you on and make sure for everyone who is on the stream, make sure you sign up uh, at using the form at uh, microchip.com slash IOT dash design dash week. Uh, we're gonna send out an email when we reschedule. Yeah, absolutely. And then yesterday we had a really awesome conversation on security, so kind of the lesser known part of IOT, but really extremely important when it comes to taking a design from something that you're just using in your garage to really how do I make that and send it to the market in a really effective way? So if you missed that, feel free to check back on our social feeds and things like that, and you can make sure to catch that in, in antiquity. That's my new word of the day. Um, oh, nice. And then today, obviously, we were going to talk about uh, DigiKey Studio, but I know Rachel's got some super awesome stuff in store for us. So you want to tell us a little bit about kind of what we're going to talk about today? Sure, but first I'd, I'd like to point out that Matt has eaten half of his pie already. So, <laughs> I, he's a, uh, it's, it's a raspberry pie. So, <laughs> but um, exactly. So, uh, yeah, he, he dove in, <laughs> but. Uh, Fortune favors the bold. Yeah, um, okay, so we can talk a little bit about this. This is our new platform, like brand new. I don't know how much of it even is up on our, I mean, I know the product's been released, but we haven't talked too much about it yet. Um, but this is our Curiosity Nano development platform. So we have the baseboard here, and it has a socket for the Curiosity Nano development boards, um, which will have the MCU, the target MCU, and will also have a debugger. Um, so it's like a full featured, uh, complete development tool. And then you just plug it in. Um, it also has micro electronica click sockets. So I plugged in a few that I had on my desk. Um, I know we've been talking a lot about the weather clicks, so yeah, so you just easily just try out different things. It's a really great way to like start out and explore. Um, like maybe you'll be like, oh, I want to try out, you know, Wi-Fi or Bluetooth. Yeah, absolutely. Um, super easy, just plug it in. 
And what's unique about this, too, is that it also enables you to try out different architectures um, really easily. So this is the PIC 16F1855 um, Curiosity Nano, but we can just plug in what our winner has got today, which is the 4809. Uh, so you just plug it in, um, and that's how you connect it to your PC also. Uh, so I really like it because it's a great starting point, but it also takes you all the way to development, like to production ready prototype because it is a full featured development tool. Um, so it's very flexible. Uh, and yeah, we like to say that it's like the newest member of your design team. Like it'll be with you um, from start to finish. And, and yeah, uh, so definitely like check that out on our webpage. I'm sure you'll hear more about it in the future um, as, as we talk about it more. There's tutorials on MPLab, MPLab Express. MPLab um, Express, yeah. yeah. And what's also cool is that it's uh, compatible with both our AVR IDE, the Atmel Studio, and with MPLabX. So you can use an AVR chip and uh, program it with MPLabX. And oh, you won't you even need to change your, so to try out a different architecture, you don't even need to uh, change your IDE. So that's really nice. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so definitely our most flexible board, I think, that we've ever. Totally. Yeah. And these clicks are really nice, too. So um, one of the things that we do outside of doing live streams, as much as we enjoy hanging out with you all, is we'll also do in-person classes. So I know uh, some of the chats in the past we've seen actually some of our students come through a class and then start joining in on the live streams as well. So shout out to those of you that are continuing to follow us. We really appreciate that. Um, but one of the great things that we do in class is we take ex an express evaluation board as kind of the classic tool that we've used. But now we can use something like this Curiosity Nano. Hold that up. And we can do change out clicks really easily. And Rachel mentioned this, but for example, say we're in IoT week. Um, I've got my BLE2 click on here. So that's using the RN4020, which is a BLE Bluetooth low power uh, device that our wireless group has available. Um, and that br the breakout and all of the uh, discrete components and things like that that you would need to run that chip are already in a really nice form factor that plugs right into the Curiosity Nano. And now I can take it beyond just wireless and I can add on, say, a relay click if I wanted to turn a light on and off with Bluetooth. Um, I know Clifford, one of the videos we released this week for IoT Week well, actually was a, I, uh, or a live stream behind the scenes. Yeah, yeah. And Clifford's, one of our other uh, coworkers, actually created a Bluetooth light using, was it the Bailey or the, I think it was the Bluetooth click? Um, I think he uses the Bluetooth yeah. uh, 2.0. That's but, right. But you can, I, we're planning on releasing a tutorial with different options for Bluetooth because we know that people also are interested in our, um, in that one, the BLE, and also in the uh, is it 4871. Yes, that's yeah. right. Because yep. um, that one, it, it's a really cool click, and it's uh, 5.0 certified. So well, there you um, go. A lot of people want to develop with that one, so we're we're trying to make more tutorials with that as yeah. well. But but the one we use in the studio is regular. Bluetooth. Okay, Bluetooth yeah. 2.0, and he used a relay click as well, and he was able to do that on a Curiosity. Um, high pin count board. So this is kind of, if you use the Curiosity high pin count in the past or something like that, think of this as maybe the next iteration of that cycle where I've got another click socket, but now, as Rachel mentioned, just to drive the point home, whether I'm using PIC or AVR, I've got one tool that I only need to buy once, and now I can do development on both PIC and AVR moving forward. Um, so if I'm in a team that uses both or something like that, um, this is a great way to do that. I believe we have a question or a comment from the booth. Yeah, just, uh, you know, this is a conglomeration of a couple of questions about the Curiosity Nano boards, uh, seeing as though this is kind of the first time a lot of people are seeing these. Um, you know, people are asking if there's a version for PIC, uh, and I uh, just wanted to kind of throw that to you to, to, uh, to, to mingle about that. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, so this is the PIC 16F um, 1855. 1855, I believe. Oh, 1844. 1844. There is. <laughs> There should be a 18. Pick 16 F 18446. We're getting there you go. a little bit confused, but uh, yeah, this is the 8-bit pick microcontroller on um, the Curiosity Nano, so you can just plug this one in too. So you can, I mean, the point is that you can try out different designs really easily, even with between architectures, which I think is really special, and it's definitely um, I was impressed 
with MP Lab X that we were able to do that um, because when I when I was using AVR for the first time in MP Lab X, uh, it was it was like pretty. It was pretty seamless, and, and I went through the whole like MCC and everything, and it was it was really nice. So really? I could just you know just try a different try something else. Absolutely, and yeah. we've got a embedder debugger on there as well. So if those of you that are familiar with the Express Evaluation Board, one thing that we you could do is print line debugging, but you didn't have a true debugger. So all these Curiosity Nano boards, another really cool feature on them is they actually have that debugger on them as well. Um, so you get your breakout, you get your debugger, and you get all these additional options in terms of throwing out the clicks on and stuff like that. Yeah. Yeah, so. I'm really excited about this um, platform going forward because I really like the flexibility, but it's still very sophisticated and professional and ready to take you to production, which I think is um, something that a lot of people will like. So I'm, yeah. I'm excited about it. So congratulations to the lucky winners. Yeah, absolutely. Well. Um, like we said, we'll definitely bring uh, DigiKey back when the weather is a little bit fair. We'll have to pay a little bit closer attention to our weather uh, weather systems moving forward. But their um, their software, the DK IoT Studio, is live right now. So if you guys want to yeah, check it out, absolutely. you totally should. Um, you just go on their website and I guess I, I, I search for it. Well, <laughs> we can we can make sure we link that. Yeah, in the we'll, description we'll link to if it. If Rob wants to post that in the chat, you can do that as well. Um, yeah, so definitely check it out, and that way you'll you'll be ready for questions when Rob comes on later. Absolutely. Uh, later in the year. So yeah, so make sure you come back tomorrow for the last day of IoT Design Week, where we feature this fun maze um, that we did, and we will also give away one of each of the development boards. Um, so make sure you come back, start your Friday with us. Uh, you know, see a cool application of IoT, and. And thank you to everybody who's been tuning in every day also. It's yeah, been great. It's been great. Yeah, I'm really happy. Uh, is well, there anything else, no, Matt? I think that's it. Happy IoT week. Happy Pi Day. I'm going to sit here <laughs> and enjoy the rest of my pie yeah, now I'm that start I can. <laughs> and uh, we look forward to seeing you guys and girls back tomorrow. Thank you so much. All right. Take care. Bye.